All right, that's nice. Some kind of perfume bottle. Very nice. That's got some age to that one. Look at that. That is a silver quarter right there. I see King George on the back. That, I'm pretty sure that's an orange crush, everybody. Well, I know it's an orange crush. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that one. Look at the squirrels in that one. Look at that blue. That is nice. Pretty cool bottle. Just gonna pop it out here. Oh yeah, that's an old wine bottle, old amber wine. Nice. That was Jordan. Let's see if I rub the bottom off there. Yeah, Jordan wine. They're always a nice bottle. There would have been like a label right there. All right, nice, nice find, nice find. That's a keeper for sure. And then I found a couple other guys here. I found a, a shaving cream, cobalt blue shaving cream. You see on the top there it says shaving cream. This has got some embossing on that sucker. And then I found a cork top, like in a, a reinforced lip uh, cork top Lysol. Usually these things are smaller. So I got a bigger version of that. So I might keep that just because I've never actually found a bigger version of that before. All right, that's nice. Found this guy. I don't know what that is. Almost has like a, a milk top on it, but I'm not really sure. Might be some kind of like a creamer or something. Interesting. And then I found another one of these guys, these whiskey bottles here. They're always nice, they can wipe it off a bit. It's got some nice uh, design on that. Very nice looking bottle. These uh, clean up very nice, look amazing on the bottle shelf. So a few cool finds to start the day. It's starting to rain everybody, but I found a couple sweet marbles. Look at those. Big blue shooter. Look at that one. Look at the swirls in that one. Look at that blue. That is nice. All right, all right. Pretty happy with that. A couple cool marbles and then uh, Bottles today, I mean, nothing too exciting. I found another Corona jar and a little blue guy, a little uh, syrup of some kind. I found an elephant, it's missing the tusk on the front. I found an elephant, and then I found a couple of these Verner or Ver Vernon. Vernon, I think there's another one here. Yeah, another Vernon. Let's see, two Vernon bottles, mason lid, a little blue guy. I this could be may or um. Uranium glass, possibly. I won't know until I bring it home and get the the, uh, the light on it, but uh, that could be uranium glass. There's a little chip on the on the lip there, which is a little disappointing, but if it's uranium glass, it'll display nice. So that could be uranium glass. And I found a cork top, returned to Brantford Clinic. An old Tamblin bottle down here, spoon. That's like a light to like a car or something like that, or a bike, one or the other. J.R. Watkins Co., I believe this is. Yeah, J.R. Can't really see it, but that says J.R. Watkins Co. Cool looking jar. <laughs> I found a beer. I think it's an O'Keefe's beer bottle. So I mean, it's not bad finds. Nothing too spectacular as of yet. And it's starting to rain, so hopefully I can uh, uh, find some good stuff before it starts uh, downpouring. But I'm gonna keep digging this area here and we'll see what we can dig up. Let's keep digging around everybody. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's an orange crush, everybody. Well, I know it's an orange crush, look at that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at the label on that too. Ah, the lip is chipped just a bit. But that is nice. Still display nice, even though the, the chip is lifted, the lip is chipped a little bit. Very nice, very nice. All right. A little update. I found this guy. No embossing, but look at the green on that. That is nice. Look at that. Nice, like an olive green to it. Very nice looking bottle. Very cool. And then I found a, uh, a Scrip ink bottle. So muddy today. I'm digging in the rain today. Scrip Ink. They're always a nice bottle to find. It's got embossing on it. I found this guy. Check this out. This got some age to it. You see the cork top on it. 
now again it's muddy so it says like w or ew hoyts co something like that perfumes lowell massachusetts Massachusetts. i can't say that massachusetts massachusetts i don't know usa all right that's nice some kind of perfume bottle very nice that's got some age to that one awesome 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 okay let's keep digging today i finally did it everybody a bucket lister bottle digging finding a silver coin and i just did it right here today look at that that is a silver quarter right there i see king george on the back so it's definitely got some age to it i can't get the date off it i'm gonna have to clean it up and maybe do an update later but i mean it's probably 1940s 1950s something like that but that is awesome my first silver coin at a bottle dump and it's a quarter oh i am so ecstatic about that okay let's keep digging around wow a few finds over here i found a uh look at that some kind of a, a gin vickers oh boy it's so muddy today something something dry gin and i found an old lysol bottle cork top and i'm pretty sure this is a uranium glass again I'll have to check when I get home, see if it glows, but uh, that looks like uranium glass. That's the second one today. Then I found an old uh, Cheshire Bruff. Hold on. So muddy. Cheshire Bruff. Um, something something Co. New York. It's always a nice little jar. And I found this guy, some type of a poison type of thing. Got the ridging on it. Tells me it's some type of a poison. Doesn't actually say poison on it. And uh, I think we're all cut up. So. All right, a few more nice finds. I haven't found a milk bottle to uh, replace the broken one I found in the last clip, but uh, that's a nice, a nice olive green bottle right there. Some kind of booze bottle, whiskey or gin or something like that. Very nice looking bottle right there. And then uh, I did—I uh, didn't find a milk bottle, but I found a malted milk. Let's see if we can wipe this off. So muddy today. Horlicks, the original. This is Horlicks. Something, something, malted milk, lunch tablets. I can't read the, the bottom of it. That's a nice looking, uh, it's not milk, but it's sort of milk. <laughs> it's a nice looking bottle there. I like that to keep it for sure. And then this is one of my favorite bottles right here. I love finding these ones. The electric oil. Again, so muddy. Just give me a second here. So muddy today. North Trop and Lemon Co. Limited, Toronto, Canada. It's got external on this side, internal on that side. I try to wipe it and it gets worse. Dr. S. N. Thomas, something, 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 electric oil. All right, I like that bottle. That's definitely a keeper. I hoard these ones. I got about 10 of these suckers. Now I got 11. <laughs> I like these ones. All right, a couple cool finds. Let's keep digging around. I see milk, everybody. Let's hope that this one is whole. Oh yeah, she's whole. Purely products. All right, nice. Can't go wrong with a purely products milk. Wicked, 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 wicked. All right, there's actually a broken, big, huge, broken crock under here too. You see there, that would've been nice. But 99.9% uh, .9 of the time they're busted. But hey, can't go wrong with the milk. I also found a, uh, go over here. A couple uh, milk of magnesias popped out as well. Very common, but very, very nice bottles. We're right. digging this hole back here. Cave, and look at all these caves in here. Look at all this dirt we've been getting out of here. Look at this. How long have we been doing this for, Tyler? Yeah. Two hours. Yeah. Finally. Yeah. What did we get? We finally found a bottle. Fine. What do we got, Tyler? Drum roll, please. <laughs> it's a sewing machine oil. That's a nice one, though. Fully intact. That one's gonna clean up very nice. It's got some embossing on it, it's very faint. But it's one of those, uh, what's the sewing machine called? Um, ah, I always forget the name of it. What's the name of the sewing machine company? But uh, there we go. That is a nice looking bottle anyways. Very, very, very cool. Finally, we got something today, Tyler. Finally. There's no date on it. This is probably, what, late 1800s? Very, very early 1900s? Yeah. So we found that. What else did we get? Besides oh, that, let's do a little update. A lot of random things. stuff. Just jar, like food jars. We got a 
This would be making these glass. If you left it out in the sun, this would probably turn pink. It's a lid, bunch of stuff. We think this is what, maybe a top to like a lantern, Tyler? It says uh, railroad on it, number 39. So we'll probably keep that. I don't know, it looks like a top of a lantern. Could be something else, but uh, that's pretty cool. I did some other just random jars and things like that. Medicine bottle, old uh, insulator that's all crunched. Doorknob, food. This would have been really cool. Must have been like a flower vase or something, but the bottom's broken off it. But uh, all right, so far we got one nice bottle after two hours of digging. That's the way it goes sometimes, everybody. All right, Tyler's digging away. Let me know if you find something else good under there, Tyler. All right, let's go. Another marble. Look at that one. I mean, hold it up. It's like a, I don't know if it's like a olive green or, or what? Maybe it's like amber. It's hard to see because it's getting dark. White and like honey or something. Wow, that is quite a find right there. Look at everybody. I found a chunk of a toilet. That is one crappy find. <laughs> All right. I also found um, uh, a few other things. <laughs> A little tamlin bottle. Actually, I found a marble. Hold on, let's see if I can get my marble out. There you go. Found a marble. Sweet green and white marble. Found that. And then uh, put that away. A little compact case of some kind. It's got a bit of a design on that. Yeah, look at that. That's kind of cool. I'll probably keep that. And then I found a, look at this. A salt shaker or something. Pepper, probably salt shaker with all the holes in it. Look at that. That is spectacular right there. Very nice. I'll be keeping that one. Very cool. And that's about it. Oh, I found another, yeah, Tamlin. A couple blues in there, nothing too exciting. I keep finding all these broken milks, one after another. So there's gotta be a whole one around here somewhere. So we'll keep digging. See what else we can get out of here, let's go. Look, look at this, look at this. This looks like a nice one. Nice blue marble. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a beauty. Still digging away in the pit. I found a cork tap. And I'm pretty sure I saw embossing on it. Oh yeah, right there. Nice. What's oh, a ketchup? Parks ketchup flavor, I think that says. Yeah. Parks ketchup flavor. A little embossing on the sides. I can't really read that, unfortunately, but that's a nice looking bottle. That's an oldie for sure. All right. Got an oldie, found a license plate. Found a uh, Menards Liniments. The big one, usually they're smaller than that. The big, big sucker. I don't know, just an interesting shaped jar. A little bit of a design on the sides. Nothing too spectacular. I won't keep that, but I just wanted to show you. All right, a couple cool finds, but a lot of, a lot of common stuff. A lot of common stuff. But uh, gotta keep digging around. Good stuff's in here somewhere. All right, let's go. All right, thanks for coming with us on our adventure today. Leave a comment on your favorite find. See you on the next adventure.